right. Hey, Craig Dosti here with Dosti's View. I'm in Free Heal Life World Headquarters, taking over Telly Tay's uh, studio just for the for today. Um, and I wanted to circle back and talk some more about boots because there's a couple things that I didn't make very clear. Um, probably the biggest thing is that um, I've been saying there's a lot of us who've been complaining and we want a new tally boot, one that's lighter weight, has greater range of motion in the cuff, um, things that are all very backcountry specific. And the reality is um, most Telemark skiers are not backcountry skiers. They are Telemark skiers because we love the Telemark turn, which is awesome. Um, in fact, you know, I didn't really get fanatical about skiing, not, not over the edge fanatical, until I got turned on to the Telemark turn. Um, but for me, it was all part of this backcountry experience. And what I love so much about Tele at the time, yes, I love the turn. The other thing that I really loved was the comfort of the boot, which Alpine boots, they're, I'm sorry, but even with all these modern things that are going on with great walk range of motion and, and things like that in the AT world, those boots are no way as comfortable as a tele boot because they do not flex at the sole, so they do not have a natural walking gait. Are they lighter? Yes. Do we want lighter weight? Well, if we're going to the backcountry, we do. But if we're going downhill, weight is great because a lot of these AT skiers, they put such an emphasis on weight when it comes to the downhill, they're barely hanging on, okay? It's all they can do to not fall because their gear is so lightweight, they can't really rely on it. Um, it's purely from the point of enjoying the turn, okay? And so... I don't think we want to make that mistake in the Telemark realm. But the question then is, if there's not that many people who are using Telemark gear in the backcountry, do we need to develop new boots that are lighter weight with a greater walk range of motion? And a lot of that is kind of dependent upon how many people are doing this. And that's a big question no one knows anymore. There was, a t there was a time when I thought I had a pretty good understanding of how many backcountry skiers there were in the U.S. and throughout the world. And I would say there was a time when I was fairly confident that worldwide there were at least 700,000 backcountry skiers, of which at the time probably 300,000 were telemarkers. Now, we've seen a shift over time in what those numbers are. And so then the question is, how many people are telemark skiers now? And of those, how many are into earning their turns? Because that is what is going to justify development of this line of boots that I know Scarpa is working on. And as I spoke last time, the real question isn't, will they come out with a line, but <clears throat> what's going to be the first boot they're going to come out with in that line? And I put forth the idea that it, I think, and I think the market suggests something along the lines of a T2 style boot, uh, a TX, if you will. But if it's going to be a line, then the question is, how far down the line, how light might one go? Might they go as light as something like a T3 or this kind of evolved into a T4? Could they go that way? And if they do, personally, I think it would be really awesome because um, while I love to um, ski big terrain in the backcountry and make tele turns down a big steep face in the backcountry, there's also a fair number of days I like to just go out and putz around on low angle stuff. And on the low angle stuff, 
I mean, I don't do it as much as I would like to because my TX is overkill for that sort of thing. I've got a, a great pair of um, Volet um, Vector BCs, waxless metal edge skis. And I think that is potentially a huge market. But then the question is, that's more of a cross-country Nordic market. So does Scarpa want to go back to into something like this, but not use the duck bill? Because I think in that waxless metal-edged world, a duck bill adds a lot of resistance to the whole equation of Nordic freedom. And do we want to go there when we don't have to? Because now we have um, two-pin... Um, tech bindings for Telemark and they're a lot lighter and they offer a lot more freedom but then the question is those are not cheap bindings like old three pin bindings were and still are but they're more versatile and would the cost of that and a new boot with tech fittings and an NTN connection, would that lure new people into the Telemark realm? I don't know. I don't know. You might know, or you might be interested. I mean, I know that if they offered something lighter weight, like a T3 or a T4 with tech fittings, I would absolutely jump on it because I already have the tech bindings. I already have the waxless metal edge skis. All I need is another boot. That's easy to justify. If I were coming more from the Nordic mentality of cross-country skiing, but I was fascinated by the ability to go downhill more and with more control, then that would lead me towards the Telemark realm. But the current Telemark realm, with something like the TX Pro, that's way too heavy for that, right? Way too heavy. But something like this, lighter weight, would be right up my alley. But could I justify the cost? I don't know. I don't know. Um, so I think that's one of the things that Scarpa has to balance. And you know, there's another thing that I'll throw in there. Um, Scott, Crispy, hello. What are you guys doing? Are you leaving this all up to Scarpa and you're just going to travel in the wake and uh, uh, let them uh, determine the direction? Um, don't you have something at stake here too? Uh, can't you contribute some innovation to this game? Hmm? Like, Scott, you have the perfect vehicle, the excursion. What are you doing with that? Huh? So those are just some more thoughts on boots. Um, your comments on the last uh, view of boots that I did were fantastic. So love to hear your thoughts on maybe making the line even lighter and wider, okay? Um, till next week, if you're a telemarker, you got a free mind. You can free your heels. You can get down on your knees and spread telemark. See you next week. Adios.